Hey guys, this is Matt Kids on One. Today is going to be a brief little explanation of Root. Now, you may or may not know what Root is on your computer. If you don't know, uh, you might have enabled Root before uh, to get past maybe parental controls or get administrative access to your computer, or you might have gone into single user mode at one point or another. Well, let me tell you something. You use Root all the time. Maybe you don't know it, but your computer always has root logged in on some console somewhere. Now, just because you don't see graphically root logged in doesn't mean it's not logged in in the background of your computer. Now, let me explain what root is. Root is a user on your computer that um, is the root of all users. He is like, root is universal throughout all the Unix, Linux machines, mostly all of them would have root. Windows does not have root currently, um, but uh, root um, is kind of like the Windows equivalent of the system user. When you boot up your computer and login window gets started, everything gets started, they're running as root. The user that, they, that owns them is called the root, R-O-O-T. Now, um, I might put a link in the description of the video to how to enable root on a Mac. Um, you might also notice that um, when you boot up and you hold Command S that you're logged in as root. That's because while you're booting, you're logged in as root anyway, so why not unlog you out? Why not keep you logged in as root while you go into this single user mode? Which is when you hold Command S, we'll turn it on your computer. Um, so root is... Um, is the super user on your computer. He has permissions to edit any files, change the permissions of any files. He's the only one who can change the ownership of any file without invoking a sudo command. Sudo has something called a sticky bit, which means it can run as root, um, but it's smart and it knows that you need to enter a password. Um, login, if you have a Unix console, runs as root. So all these great little things run as root. And you can just, um, I'll show you where root's home directory is, and I'm going to do this through terminal. Um, if you type cd space slash var, now uh, I'll just do sudo dash s to log in as root. Now I'll type ls open slash var, then I'll type cd root. If you haven't watched other terminal lessons, you should watch those before um, watching this part in terminal. But basically, right now I'm in root's home directory slash private slash var slash root and here's root's home directory you can log root in at the GUI but um, I prefer to just have him running my background processes and me as an administrator using the GUI um, you cannot delete root um, completely you can delete him from the passwords file all you want but the words the best you can do is wreck your computer because root is always there and if you go into activity monitor um, you can see that there's always a process or two running as root I'll just open it up right here I just select user and there are actually a few other users root is running all these processes he's running login window he's running login I don't know which console that's from but whatever and he's running all the services type of things you know, root is a very important thing to the Unix system, and although he is also a user, or I'm not calling him a he, it's not really a person root, it, root is um, the root, where all users bow down to root, because root is always there. Um, root account can be quote-unquote disabled, but that's only his login that's disabled, but when the computer boots, even if his password is bang and then a hash, it'll still boot fine, even if he's disabled. Um, and in fact, you can disable the root login, but you cannot disable the root user because it's always there. Otherwise, you wouldn't have any login window. Who would it log run as? I mean, there are like 12 other users on your computer, at least, that are for services and stuff. Um, so that's root, a uh, simple explanation of root on the Mac. So thank you for watching Mac Kids in a One. Uh, please subscribe to our videos because without your subscription, we couldn't make all these great videos come alive. And uh, goodbye.